And talk to me about you know getting your first feature made and did it meet expectations? Was it as, did the headaches come from where you expected them to or not or how was it? Um, White Wedding was blessed from the beginning. Um, I've made a lot of television, a lot of television drama, and uh, you know had to raise money and do the whole thing, and those have been quite tough. White Wedding was tough because we had a, a really punishing schedule. But in every other way, it was just one of those projects that was lucky. You know, the funding fell into place easily. Um, we had great actors. We were lucky with the weather. You know, we had no contingency, but everything just went smoothly and we didn't need to use it. Can so you, it was great in that way. And talk about work. And had, you, had you worked with those actors before? I reckon you were on a, a soap opera, is that correct? Yeah. And so you probably had a lot of the local actors coming through there. Or it, no? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, I mean, in South Africa, there isn't much of a film industry, so... We've got um, most of our good actors work in television, um, and lately there's not been so much theatre, so they're all, you know, so if you work in television there, you're going to meet a lot of very talented people. Mm -hmm. So yeah, when it came to casting White Wedding, we used a lot of people that, that Kenny Raps and myself had worked with before, mm -hmm. and, uh, and that made it easy, because we all knew one another and we knew each other's strengths. Talk about um, the impetus for the thing. I understood you guys were traveling Cape Town to Johannesburg. Durbin, is that yeah, Durban to Cape Town the other way. Yeah. Okay. Um, can you just talk about what you came up with it in the car? Just give me that anecdote, if you will. We were Kenny Raps and myself drove one Christmas from Johannesburg to Cape Town, which is a two two day journey, mm. and um, we, you know, long car ride, lots of conversation. Um, at that point, the three of us were all talking at different, in different ways about relationships and why they were great and why they were horrible. and um, So that kind of became a strand in the movie. And then the fact that we were driving through this astonishingly beautiful country and that we wanted to make movies, but we didn't think we could raise a lot of money to make movies. However, if we put these two guys in a car and drove them through this beautiful country talking, maybe we could afford to make a movie. And that's kind of where the, the seed of White Wedding came from. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of a road movie. It's a bit of a road movie. Can you talk a little bit about that, the influence of European and American cinema? I mean, it feels it feels like a familiar movie. It's, that's not an exotic movie, you know? Can you talk about some of that, the influence on, on African cinema? You know, I mean, South Africa has been very strongly influenced by um, English and British culture, but American movies and American television are everywhere. Right. Um, so we are, without even wanting to be perhaps, hugely influenced. But, you know, Kenny Raps and myself set out very deliberately to tell something, that, to tell a story in a manner that would, would make it broadly appealing. Mm -hmm. So we were quite aware of using the romantic comedy road movie formula. Mm -hmm. What we were creating with it that was different was that we were we were putting in characters that audiences haven't seen before in landscapes that they haven't seen before. Um, and so, you know, we weren't necessarily trying to create a new kind of cinema language. We were using very much what's there. And in in 18 days, which is what we had to shoot it, you you know, you just got to tell the story. You can't really get very fancy coverage. So we were quite simple and straightforward in the way that we used a lot of the language that's out there. Mm -hmm. um, but what we were trying to do that was different was was tell a new story with sure. it, which is so that of ordinary South Africans, you know, in this case, trying to get to their wedding. Okay. Um, okay, one more. You have that scene in the uh, roadhouse where they encounter all those rednecks. Um, you know, it's funny because I think a lot of Americans, oh, that would never happen here. Well, of course it would happen here. I, I don't think it would happen quite the same way, though. I mean, is it still with signs saying, you know, uh, no blacks allowed? Oh, God, yes. There's a lot of yeah. that still. Yeah. Okay. And that flag. Yeah. People hang. You know, the scene in the bar in the film um, is in some ways a slightly idealized version of what can happen because some of those instances become quite violent incidents. Right. Um, but they also um, happen, or could happen in the way that it happens in the movie, which is with, which is tense, but with a fairly gentle and very positive, in this case, outcome. Mm -hmm. um, but you're, you know, yeah, every month or so you read a story about somebody who got beaten up in a small town, or a white farmer who beat up his labourer, or, you know, we still have it yeah. in South Africa, and it's still crude. Um, 
and we were quite sure that we wanted to show that and to use the, the K word as we call it, um, which is what a lot of white South Africans will use in white company um, in the way that they do in the film. Um, but again, we were making a romantic comedy, so you know we, we kind of moved that within the confines of the story, but we were certainly dealing with something that can and does happen. Right.